Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can make a YouTube banner and if you can hit 350 likes, um, I'll actually leave the template to this final product so the PSD file so you guys can edit for yourself in the description. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is press file new here and then fill in this stuff. Oh, the width, height, uh, resolution, background color, contents, and make sure it's pixels and stuff like that. So if you need to pause here, just pause and... and Make it whatever you want the name. So Steven Vans Awesome Banner. Here. And next you want to find a YouTube channel template banner template. So basically I'll just show you where you can place your stuff. So this black area is where you can place your text and stuff. I actually downloaded it four times because I actually did this video four times, but I messed up every four times. And you only need to know like this area here, so you can basically just like make a new layer here and just use the rectangle tool make the fill whatever you want I'll make a white and then just place it over it and then now you can merge the two layers by pressing control and control and press control E that actually looks very cool I guess and just make it a little darker because that's really annoying my eyes because it's so bright and now that's great that looks cool um, next thing you want to do is find a wallpaper to add in the background of your wall like whatever you want here you can go on to actually let's go on to graphicstock.com they're actually sponsoring this video they provide over 300,000 free to use unlimited downloads high quality uh, royalty free images they also provide like free to use video videos and audio so if you want to do that they're actually giving you guys a seven day free trial if you guys want to check it out and test it out for yourselves the link in the description so yeah and they also they always update this website so it's always like really fresh and new and so let's just search up like wallpaper see what we see uh, there should be plenty of them um actually let's go on abstract wallpapers because i tend to use those a lot in my thumbnails as well as my banner so let's just use an abstract wallpaper here let's, let's search up wallpaper it may be been appear more it actually did appear what here yeah this one this looks cool and press um jpeg i don't know what an eps file is um, yeah, just press download it. You'll see a watermark here, but once you actually open the image, there won't be a wallpaper. So press, I mean watermark, and press um, place here. Uh, where is it? Why is it in my music folder? Why the hell is it? So it's an abstract pattern wallpaper, yeah. Then just place it, I hold shift and then just place it randomly. Move it under that layer right there. So, you know, so it, it cuts off a little bit and and you don't have to see this layer anymore. So just like hide it. And then now that is your thing. That's how it's going to look like right now. And then next thing you want to do is add the text. So the text is fairly simple. It's just a font, you know, just use a random font. If you guys want to know what font I'm using, it's next to bold and next to light. So I'm going to make one part of my text light next to light and one of it next to bold and change the colors from like one to white, one to the uh, primary color. So blue here is the background, so let's just make it blue. And then just center it. So press Control A, move tool, and then press align horizontal centers and vertical centers. Press Control T on the text now to make it smaller. So here, hold shift, drag it, and then press Control A, and center again. And one thing you'll notice is that you won't be able to see the background of it. So what you want to do is just take a new layer here move it below and then use this brush tool and make it black and just place under it. It looks ugly right now, but once there's more text, it'll look better. Obviously it'll look better like with more text. Let's just lower it right now. What I mean is if I add like entertainer here and make it like white or something. This is actually what I do with my font, like the the text in my thumbnails, like here. If I like move this up, here, let me just there. Just just put it as that. Like it doesn't look the best right now, I know. But once I finish the entire thing, it'll look a lot better. So next thing I want to do is like add a secondary background so I can actually merge stuff in with the other background to make it look a lot cooler. So what I mean here, so if I search up stars and pretend like this one looks really cool, press download and then now place it. So this one's called stars background here. 
and then just like hold shift and then spread it here then it selects this press soft light and then merge these two layers together make it a little bit darker by pressing a hue and saturation make it darker you'll see it kind of merges in you know the black you can obviously make it a little bit like less opaque there that looks cool now and let's just merge those two again and yeah so next thing you can do is like add another background so let's just search striped wallpaper i usually merge three or four wallpapers every single one of my thumbnails so well i actually have one that i actually downloaded off graphic stock i actually had one somewhere where is it stripe yeah here stripe vector background i had this off um the same website so yeah oh man that looks cool you can just like do this by itself without the other wallpapers but i like to mix them up so maybe like that and then you can merge these layers together now you can add your social media and stuff or you can add like a quote and so let me just censor these if i didn't yet how they're kind of there and now you can add like something in the bottom right here or even make a box so let's just actually make a box i want to just move this under the layer under the text layers make a box here make the fill nothing by pressing this red line make the stroke um something visible so maybe like gray and then just put it around the box here and that might give some personality to the banner press ctrl a press the move tool and make it centered so maybe you want to just like move this on top then censor it i don't know your choice now you can also add your social media here or you can like just put whatever videos you make so like gaming here let me just make it smaller for you guys to see gaming oh capital please gaming tutorials commentaries and more and then put it in the box i don't know and then just move it here make it a different font so i'll be using light or something and then to make it look better i'll just press ctrl c and make this separation between the text a lot bigger so maybe like 200 i don't know i always thought it looked better like that so you can also do that for your entertainer as well so if you want to press ctrl t highlight the text then press ctrl t and then press 200 i always thought that looked better i don't know why and it has a big gap in the middle i don't want to add anything so there so just press ctrl t and just move it down there and then move the entertainer down so here move entertainer down and then yeah now you can add your social media links on the side or at the bottom here i recommend on the side because the middle is usually the most crowded so actually i want to center entertainer and everything like that first but before i do that let's just go into blending options here and make it have a gradient so make it just a little gradient here so it, it looks like metallic looky look look add a metallic look just paste it here paste it there and then now hold shift from the top right here to the rectangle there and press ctrl e and now you guys can like move it all at once and just merge the entire thing let me just make it smaller a little bit press ctrl a and then censor it and now you can see that there's this still this thing so like if it was like this it look a lot different but if you add this, it'll be more visible. So let me just center that as well. And if you imp like increase it, you'll see that um, the sensor is more visible than the rest. If you would add font this, it'd be like a lot different. So next thing I want to do is add the social media. But first, let me just see if it fits with it. So yeah, social media can still be added and still can be seen if I add it right there. So let's just hide this layer again. So I'll just add like my Instagram or something. So it's Instagram. Oh, that's so hard to see. And then move it on top of the wallpaper. I accidentally didn't. Press Control T here. Move it over that layer right there. And then now you can type in your Instagram. Actually, I'll just type in my my username. So here. And then type in 
And then just like find a wall uh, image. You cannot find it on here like a logo because it's not there. They don't have permission to use it. We don't have permission to use it. But I'm using anyways because I'm a fuck life. Um, here in this one. Make sure it's a PNG so it's transparent. And then press file place here. And then find it somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's here. And then move it on top. Maybe like that. Let's just move both of the layers here so you just like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but here that is. Maybe you want to add like that. Now paste the layer style to make it metallic looking. Now you can do the same to the other side. So let me just move it to this side just to see where I, I should put it. So it like matches up. Uh, but let me use a Twitter PNG. And just take a random one. Oh, what? Just happened to press tab. Um, pl pr press file place again. And then put it here. Let me just move it on top of this layer and then delete the Instagram one later. That's just for reference. And there, let's delete the Instagram, I think. Yeah, that one. And now I'll take the Instagram, paste the layer style. And now look how good that looks like. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I think it looks fantastic. You can obviously like add that uh, black effect. Or is it this black thing right here? And then add it below the actual um, logos and stuff so it's more visible in the text. Now lower the opacity or something. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help out, just hit the like button. That would mean a lot. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.